I know many of you must or might have come across the term scopolamine drug. In many instances unajipata uko town you've been robbed off na hujui you can't really remember or you can't even vividly remember what happened before you were robbed. It takes you a while, it takes you around 30 minutes or so for you to fully remember what happened before you were robbed off kabla hujaibiwa. Na imefanyika hiki kisa kimefanyikia watu wengi sana. I just sat on the streets asking doing interviews one two three which I'll be bringing for you to you people. There are many people out here who've lost it. Who've lost their school fees, who've lost the fees maybe for their children, who've lost their hard earned money, who've lost their hard earned investment. Someone even bought cameras and he was robbed off without violence. And we wonder, do these people use ghost ghost methods? Are they devilish? Today I'm here to reveal this to you. I'm here to reveal what they use. I'm here to reveal the type of technique they use to rob you of your hard earned money. Just stay with me on this video. If you're new to this channel, kindly remember to subscribe. Press the bell notification for these are very many videos to come, very many videos to come on this platform. Continue joining, join the button link pale chini. Join, join, join for you to get exclusive videos like this one. So my guys, I know many of you have been robbed off without violence. And the drug today that I'm going to reveal which these people use, I call them idiots. It is called scopolamine. <laughs> pa drug. Let me just check it for you. Scopolamine, it's a difficult word, but it's scopolamine. Scopolamine drug. It's a type of drug that can really distort your normal functioning. It is why I was telling you even these incidences they're happening and one just one sample you meet a person in the streets of Nairobi Kenya by just offering him or her your a handshake. You find yourself ending up in a dump site sleeping for hours on waking up people are telling you you've been sleeping here for very many hours it's now that you're waking up what's up it takes you at some minutes to re to remember to really remember what happened but you can't remember what happened during those four hours since that drug was inside your bloodstream was really distorting you and taking advantage of your normal thinking so my guys what is this drug it is called scopolamine And scopolamine according to the research here it is a belladonna alkaloid alkaloid with anticholinergic <laughs> effects indicated for treatment of nausea and vomiting associated with vom with motion sickness i know many of you have gone or have heard of surgery maybe cs surgery after an accident you know these people are or are always injected the the what these things that can make you you do not feel feel pain you know so it is called anesthesia kama for example mengoa meno huko kwenye cs unazaa kuna ile dawa ambayo inadungwa inaitwa anesthesia ndio usisikie machungu but after the surgery process there are those who experience vomiting nausea nausea and vomiting and there are those who even feel a lot of pain Now this drug scopolamine or scopolamine will drive your senses into a deep sleep motionless where you have no <laughs> you have nobody to help you and so that drug that is the use of that drug but people misuse it nimesikia hata on very many occasions unapata mtu like one sample of what we experienced mtu aliyeka hiyo dawa akiwa town akatoka town na hawezi wakaitisha wakaenda kwenye lori zinaitishwa the order for la lori wakiwa na yeye wakaenda paka kwake wakamkitisha pale nje na hawezi walibeba vitu pole pole akiangalia tu though this person was not really seeing 
hata majirani walikuwa namuona pale wanasema things are safe kama ako pale but this person is under influence amewekewa already ile dawa na anakikaribia kuisha anaongezewa wengine so vitu zilitolewa kwa nyumba vitanda television everything na watu wakapanda galori wakaenda so majirani wanasema maybe wameka hapo nje anangojea atawafuata after some few hours neighbors no he himself went to the neighbors kauliza what has happened why am i here i was in town they were everybody was shocked like we've been we saw you sleeping here for a while we saw you sleeping here for, a, for almost four hours you came with people you opened the door you gave them your key they opened the door ukaka hapo nje they even to the near town ahama we thought maybe you are relocating and i said no these people have taken advantage of me I don't really know what happened. Those hours that you were saying people were lifting my things, I can't remember seeing anything. Huyu mtu akuona chochote. So he has been robbed off without violence. That is Nairobi. So this is the drug which is in which its main intention or its main purpose is supposed to treat the nausea and vomiting after the surgeries but now people in Nairobi are using it to rob off people another one ameshuka pale kwenye gari Koja street this is just a young man i mean invest kwa photography now he wants to maybe add a camera a speed light and some things batteries i don't know so this guy anashuka Koja street after i mean nini anataka kwenda kuangalia what Hey, you know he has money na ako na ile kamera yake ya kawaida so anatembea hoja street amaamua aende afanye window shopping as be, apo before afike town so on his way what he only remembered kile kitu ambacho alikumbuka peke yake was that after alighting from the vehicle or from the matatu he met a lady this lady looked lost and since He had this sympathy on ladies you know when you find a lady in town having lost direction or so you that's that's like a sister you don't want someone to take advantage of her so he agreed they talked he showed him the, the directions but he was in she, the lady was in company of one old man but the only thing he remembers was that after giving directions he was given a long hard handshake Handshake yenye ilikuwa imemgomelia for a long time but after the handshake he can't he couldn't remember anything and this man has been found kwa mtaro just by the trenches sleeping people are asking him what has happened and all he can say is that he can't remember anything that transpired another incident this is now the scopolamine drug and i will be revealing to you this scopolamine drug it is being sold It is being sold in the next pharmacies or even online in Kenya. You can get it. Just a scoop for 5000 shillings and people are taking advantage of that. You are not here to maybe market the drug for wrong use. We are here to expose it. And take note my viewer, if you found guilty of this drug, just prepare to serve some criminal charge charges level against you. You might even get jailed for long 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 time there. So my guys, this is a drug ambayo inauzwa If you check on the online market ya Kenya it's being sold. I would like I would pledge to the government to ban this drug even in the chemist. Just let it only be found in the hospitals where treatment is done. Since this drug can, can be bought over counter and that is why the crime scenes in Nairobi have increased at the par. So my guys that is scopolamine powder. Another incident. This is now my own real mother. She went she left home she left dad since dad had died I read recently for himself in an accident sort so he couldn't talk or maybe have that long long queues in the bank since that day my mom was going I, I think to go pay school fees for us so when my mother was there at the bank it started raining in town but at home it wasn't raining So he was like trying to communicate to papa like how much do I pay do I, do I pay for our children's school fees since it was almost January we are supposed to now go back to school remember this is school fees and school fees that's that around 3000 dollars 300000 Kenyan shillings 
So as my mother was there in the bank, she was trying to talk louder since it was raining so that my my dad could hear her. Like, do I pay 44,000 for no $400 for Bob school fees? $300 for Patricia's or the other way around then if there are any levies you'll sort them later, later in the town. So this conversation of school fees attracted this criminal. <laughs> Let me just call him criminal idiot who came and pushed the kids who were sitting next to my mom just at the bank and forced herself to sit near my mom. That is what my mother could only remember. From that point, my mom was found mid street in town thank god that is that is that was a town a hometown people knew my mother so just a friend saw my mother stranded with a handkerchief over her head we tend to presume that the guys the the, the criminals just covered my mom with the with the kitamba with the handkerchief which had the scopolamine drug and during the inhalation that is when they took away everything belonging to her so that is how <coughs> school fees that was supposed to cut off for my school fees, my brothers and sisters went. I once interviewed a lady on this channel whom was given, I don't know if you can go find, the link will be on this video, down this video, who was given money by the dad to go open a business or pay school fees, I don't know. And the same, same guys, the queue there at Odeon, Nairobi, they always make a queue. Just she, what came from her, the only thing she could remember was that an old lady came to her asking for directions. And after giving the directions, that is the only thing again she could remember. So these guys are taking advantage of people in the streets using this drug that is being sold online. I'll just take you through the, the market. I don't know if it is still in the Kenyan online market, but let me just take you through it. This is Copalamine. Let me just Google scopolamine drug price in Kenya. Yeah. So, if you check it keenly, scopolamine drug in Kenya. I want to take you to, a, to an online market which is just in Kenya. Then we'll see. Just see for yourself. I think it is here. This is the drug. <coughs> it is called Forget About Mchele. Scopolamine. Uh, okay, let me just see. In Kenya shop so the our first search comes to pharmacy direct kenya that is you can shop it 1.5 milligram at 5645 kenyan shillings let me take a shot for you guys no 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 a shot is here got it yeah that is, you can easily purchase this drug, the devil's breath. Meaning criminals can get it freely. I think this drug should, be on, should only be restricted to be provided in the hospitals. And I don't know, maybe after producing this, this video, if some criminals, if some, some gangs will just form up and start purchasing this drug. But this video was just for education purposes and for expose. And I'm sure after watching this video and sharing it widely, it will help. And the ministry will even come in and seize the sale of this drug anyhow to any person. Since I don't really, I don't really believe that a person can be having an issue. You know, when, for example, when you have a headache, you'll go to the pharmacist and purchase the painkillers or pain relievers. But I don't believe if someone will have some things, something or surgery done at home, then you'll be needed to purchase this drug. Just take note and keep it so my guys that has been for today follow me on my next interviews maybe on the streets just try, trying to get the expose or the experiences with the people in the streets of nairobi thanks for being here continue subscribing like share this video to reach a larger number of people bye bye